In this video we're going to do a little bit of database administration and actually create for ourselves a user to work with. It's a new one for our database. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up my database. And to start with I'll just start from the beginning here without it open. I'll just go ahead and go to the database homepage. We'll wait for our web page to load up. And the only user that we can log in with at the moment uh, is going to be the system user. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with that system user that I use for when I set it all up. And we're going to create ourselves a brand new user to log in from this point on. And so if we go to this administration tab, I'll go ahead and click on that. You'll see where we've got a tab here or not, a button for database users. Let's go ahead and click on that as well. And you can see that they've got a default one here for an example is this HR. We're not going to be using that one at all. We're going to create ourselves a brand new one. So for the username, let's see, we're going to actually hit create. So I'll hit create. And I give myself a username. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in my name uh, for the username, set myself a password. And I'm also going to come down here. Let's see, account status is going to be unlocked. My password will not expire. All right, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click for myself to be a database administrator as well, just so that I have the roles there. And I'm going to check all, meaning I have all of these privileges to work with. And so now that I've got this set, I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. And we're going to create ourselves this user. And you're going to see this icon, there it is, for this user that's available for us to work with. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is log out. And then we're going to log in with the new user. So I'll click on login and I'll type my name in and the password and hit login. And now I'm going to be logged in as my user from this point on. And so the objects and so forth that I create for my database are going to be under my username. And so this video just was to set up and create ourselves a user to work with. It's a little bit of database administration, but now we can go ahead and get started learning the SQL in the next video.